Hi, I'm Deborah from Rubber Stamp Plantation, and today we're going to be making these awesome bottle cap jewelry thingies. First, you take a bottle cap and a piece of wood or on a piece of metal. What I do is I go around in a circle and kind of gently smash the edges down until I get to the point where I want it to be. And then I turn it over and smash some more. And then again on the other side. This great round frame. Next thing I do is remove the inner seal like that. That's probably the toughest part of this. Next what I do is I take this great little punch and Aloha from Hawaii Vintage Stickers. Line up where I want my picture to be. I really like her face a lot. Punch it out. I take my handy pick. I always work from the back so that any pick holes end up in the backing of the sticker. Peel that off. I want this to be on the other side, right side up, so I line it up and put the sticker down in there nice and easily. And then the other side of the pick is this great burnisher. So I burnish this around. And then I take an ice pick. And as close to the edge, I will hammer once to make a great little hole. See that? Now I use this newspaper, nice thick newspaper, so that the hole doesn't, hole punch doesn't go through my table. The all doesn't go through my table. Next thing I do is I take diamond glaze or another water-based dimensional adhesive and fill her up like that. Then I use the tip to just spread her around. It'll take overnight. I take get out all the air bubbles that I can. Air bubbles popped leave that off to the side and the next day it has dried to be actually just like that. It takes about 24 hours. Then what I do is I take beads and a head pin, put the beads on like so. Then what you want to do is this um, part of the head pin, the hook, which is going to go on the um, bottle cap, is going to face that way. But you want the hook on top to face the opposite direction. So I'm going to twist it so this lies flat in my hand like that. Bend this back. Catch the end in the fat part of the pliers. Roll it forward so I now have a loop there. And that's what's going to hang from the earring wire. Then we attach the earring wires and we get pairs of earrings. Lovely, just like Carol Merrill.